Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a really nice 10 piece mod pack review for you guys. This is by Eagle355. This mod is pretty good. I reviewed some of his mods before and I think he does a pretty decent job on his mods. The file size is 130.15 megabytes. And the 10 pieces consists of 6 tractors, 2 plows, a cultivator and a mobile sprayer. So we're going to be taking a look at these, we're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then we're going to test them out on the field. Now I'll just get a little airborne here, you can see, okay, as far as the six tractors go, you're limited to two different kinds but there is three different colors of each. We have the Case Quad Track 620 and the Case Quad Track 1000. And there's the other two colors for the 1000, the green and the black. And for the 620, you have that. I don't know if you'd call that brown. To me, that's like a really, really dark, dark red. I like that color, actually. Then you have a blue one and a green one. Then you have the Amazon sprayer over here that's done up. That's really cheap, and it holds like 100,000 liters of fertilizer liquid. We have that plow it looks like a cultivator but it's actually a plow that has a big old work with we have that cultivator there's actually another plow that I'm going to show you that's part of this pack but it doesn't work too well but we'll take a look at it anyway it seems to glitch out and what else was I going to mention about that no that's about it so we'll come back down here and we will check these out so we'll start with the 620 here very nice looking now it's kind of similar to the 620 that's in the shop but the tracks are a lot wider on these guys and uh, the horsepower is the same and stuff but a lot cheaper too. So this is the Case IH Quad Track 620. The power is 509 kilowatts and 692 horsepower so that's kicking, kicking in horsepower. 22,500 in the shop that's cheap, 22,000. $65 a day maintenance fee, a max speed of 43 kilometers an hour, $17 an hour to run fee, and it holds 1,250 liters of fuel. So let's take a look inside. Well, we'll test out the lights and stuff first. But what a monster, almost 700 horsepower. Now, both all of these are the exact same power wise and price wise, but there is one difference, and I'll show you that momentarily. Press F for the lights. A really nice lighting system. Check out the beacons. Work just fine. How about the hazards and stuff? Check out the signal lights. Hazards work just fine. Okay, and the horn. I don't know how that program did. It sounds like a train. Sounds like train a bit. Okay, let's look inside. Now the cabs are kind of similar, but done up a little bit different. They are similar in certain ways. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I'll jump over in the other case. But you can see the buttons and dials there are going to be different from this one over here. Just slightly different. See what I mean? So it is a little similar, but you can tell there is changes. now. The thing I find the biggest changes in are, are the stacks where the uh, exhaust comes out. Now look at these on the 620. Look at them over here on the 1000. I like these the best actually because there's like three of them. What a beast, man. And then the one on the vanilla version looks pretty good too, but it's a totally different setup. That actually looks really cool. So let's get back to this keep jumping in that guy by accident now we have the case 1000 IH track quad track 1000 this comes in dark green camo and black the power is 509 kilowatts and 692 horsepower the price in the shop is the same as the other one 22,500 but get this the daily maintenance fee for this is 671 dollars the daily maintenance fee for the 620 is only $65. So, I mean, there's about 12 times the, the price. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 
you might want to buy the other one instead but uh, yeah it's quite the difference six hundred and seventy one dollars for the maintenance fee on this one and sixty five dollars on the other one that's amazing so that is the big difference right there but look at that does it ever look sweet with the camo on it man and that thing look at the big tracks on it too now I do believe the tracks on the 620 are bigger they're a little wider I think let me see that listen to that and they're really uh, slinky too like driving them they're really slinky to drive and they're super powerful yeah look this is the 620 and it's actually a little bit bigger than the 1000 the only difference I can see is in the stack it has horns on the top the, uh, the back actually looks a little bit different too. That one almost looks like it has a uh, plastic trunk almost in it. And this one has a little bit different of a setup. But the both of them are very nice. So let's take a look in the sprayer next. Now, the sprayer. This is the Amazon Pantera 4502. The power of this is ridiculous. 509 kilowatts and 692 horsepower. This sprayer is almost 700 horsepower. Price in the shops 22,500 with a daily maintenance fee of $65. Max speed of 43 kilometers an hour. Now, I didn't write down the work speed of that, but we will check that out. It holds how much? Oh, it has a 40 meter weight work width. I'm looking at the wrong one, guys. I'm getting kind of mixed up here. But that one is the sprayer is 692 horsepower. The price is only five thousand dollars in the shop, per me, and a three hundred ten dollar day maintenance fee. Fifty kilometers max speed, thirty kilometer work speed, and holds one hundred thousand liters of liquid fertilizer. 40 meter work width guys so that thing's huge it's bigger than anything you got in the shop that's for sure so let's take a look inside we'll test out a couple of things here lights see the lights and hazards are good our beacons are good and our horn is good so that all works just fine let's look inside the cab nice looking cab see I didn't look inside the uh, the other sprayer so I'd imagine it's pretty similar but this thing does look great and I love how it's done up so it's more affordable and it holds a hundred thousand liters guys that's gonna do you forever so we'll test this guy out momentarily I just wanted to go take a look at the cultivator and the plow we have over here so yeah that's a very nice one it's only small but it is nice I don't know how you say that. Vaderstead or Vaderstead top down 500 cultivator. The price is $5,000. $5 a day maintenance fee. Work width is 5 meters, so it's only small, but it is nice. But get this, it got a work speed of 30 kilometers an hour, so you can fly when you're while you're cultivating. And uh, the required power is 184 kilowatts and 250 horsepower. Now, this guy is a beast. He's kind of stuck underneath them, but that is actually a plow. I know it looks like a cultivator, but it's actually a plow. That is the Horse Tiger 10LT plow. The price is $10,000, $20 a day maintenance fee. 10.2 meter work width. That's really good. I think that's bigger than anyone in the game. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, work speed of 25 kilometers an hour. That's where you're really going to beat the other one the work speed 25 kilometers an hour is pretty quick to uh, to plow a field and the required power to pull this is pretty big it's 456 kilowatts and 620 horsepower so that is a beast yeah you definitely it, that tractor can handle it no problem so let's run over the shop here because I do want to show you that last plow but it has problems now we'll go over here and buy it real quick there it is. Now it looks nice and stuff, and it has a fairly decent work width. But get this. Now I gotta flip through my many vehicles I have here. But watch it like not do it now. Oh, I didn't buy it yet. I thought I bought, I purchased it. Hold on, let me try that again. Hmm. 
Well, <laughs> it's possessed. No, that's no good. You know what I mean? It's a nice looking plow too. It's unfortunate, but I can't use that. Look at that. That's just too distracting, man. So that's unfortunate. And I did try picking it up, and that animation doesn't go away. It just stays there. So uh, I'm going to jump in the Amazon here. I'm going to fill up with that liquid fertilizer. I'm going to bring up my tool menu here, but I don't think I'm going to be filling this guy right up because look how slow that's going up. 1%. 2%, that whole thing. <laughs> 2,000 liters is 2%. I might as well take the other one. But the thing is, that's plenty of fertilizer. It's just that this guy holds 100,000 liters. So let's get rid of that thing, because that's kind of uh, distracting. I think we can sell it from here. Yeah. So that's unfortunate with that. But, and there's one other thing i got to say about this. Now, this isn't game-breaking, but I did notice it, so I do have to mention it now. I noticed there's lots of errors in the uh, logs there, but uh, honestly guys, I tried these, tested them, I've even saved with these mods, and I didn't have any problems so far, and uh, everything hooks to them, it seems like everything's alright, I see one there that says, uh, like the, the warning beeps when it backs up, like I don't care about stuff like that, as long as it's not game breaking or anything, but hopefully he'll see this and he'll be able to straighten that out in the next version. So anyway, I'm going to get rid of that for now, and we're going to go test this guy out first since I'm in him. The beacons work great and everything. So this guy's pretty cheap for $5,000, and you got a 1,000 liters there, so, and you get a 40 meter work width, 100,000 liters I should say. It would cost a lot to fill this thing, but this has a bigger work width than anything that's in the game sprayer wise look at that and it's still unfolding I think it unfolds like four or five times look at that work with that crazy all right let's do this yeah that Eagle 355th man he makes some pretty decent mods I have to say now look how fast I can go it's almost crazy too fast but look at that Tell me you wouldn't fertilize fast. It would be great for those big old fields, man. Damn straight. Alright, so we've seen that. Now let's go test the other guys out. Excuse all the many, many vehicles I have. I already tested them. Okay, hold on. I got them set up here. Okay. Now, this brown one, or red, I think it is. It could be brown. Looks really good with that tipper, doesn't it? Okay, so this is a modded tipper by Stevie. We're going to go over and pick up 120,000 liters. No, actually, we have it in here. Yeah, I already got ahead of the game and did that. So let's see what we got here. He seems to be hauling that around with no problems. He has a max speed of 43 kilometers, and he's maxing up with that. So I want to hook two of these together, but you can't attach two of these together, unfortunately. But it seems to work pretty good, guys. And 20,000 liters being hauled around without a problem at max speed, so... Now it's your turn. Now, look how great this guy looks with that plow attached. Doesn't that look great? Really, really, really nice. What a beast pack this is. I really, really like this. Unfortunate about the other plow, but you know what? Honestly, I wouldn't use that anyway. Not when you got something like this. Maybe at first when you can't afford it, right? But watch this guy tear it up. Hard a worker, no problem. <laughs> it's awesome. That thing's beautiful, man. Beautiful job on that. And look, just ripping that field apart. And you need a lot of horsepower to pull that plow. Let me check that out again. Look at that. You need 620 horsepower to pull that. So that thing's a beast. Okay, let's go test out our last one here. Got this hooked up to the fence. And this thing works really good. It looks really nice too. Nice colors to it. I like that brand name. So this is a cultivator, not a plow. 
I know it looks similar to the other one, but I'm going to cultivate now. So there you go. That thing works great. Hiring a worker. Look how fast he's going, too. So it wouldn't take him long to get that. That thing is actually really nice. So good job on those. So guys, I think I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys did enjoy that review. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I do mod reviews every second day. And if you like this video, please leave a like and maybe a comment that you, uh, for a future upcoming episode. Maybe something you'd like to see. Or I always say too, like if you guys have mods that you see out there that you'd like me to review, by all means leave the links down below and I will surely check them out. So guys, until next time, take care.